Hey, welcome back. Wow, awkward, right? Okay, so today's lab is going to be a one now and then get up and get closer and that kind of stuff there, Mr. Cameraman named Trevor. <laughs> so, get your plug on the camera. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to oxidize this piece of magnesium. Step number one, are you ready? First thing I want you to do in this lab is I want you to clean and wash this crucible. So step number one, clean and wash the crucible, which means we should use a brush, maybe some good soap. I don't really have any soap handy, but the reality is mine's already clean anyway. Wash this crucible, mix it out really good with some distilled water. I'm going to sit here and clean and dry this crucible. I'm trying to say everything. Ah, yeah, I've already washed the lid anyway. I didn't really even have to wash the lid, but anyway, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to clean the crucible. So step number one, got it? Clean your crucible. Now, I'm going to set up this burner over here. This is what's known as a clay triangle. This little clay triangle sits up on top of the ring, and I'm going to just set this thing up here, and this is the part that's going to be kind of... What's wrong with my burner when it does that? It's got too much oxygen. So I'm going to set this thing up. I need a lab book. Am I not partake? Thank you. Of a lab book. To move your crucible around in this lab, once you wash this crucible, I don't want my hands on it anymore because your hands has got grease on there and the oils. I don't want any oily skin or anything on here. Now, really to move a crucible, a little pair of tongs, you notice how they got that little bend in the middle? The idea is for you to grab crucible and move them like this with the tongs. However, what I have found in the experience is y'all are very prone to letting them fall out when you go to move them. So my advice is to take the crucible and do this. Grab it with the tongs, and then if you're scared about dropping it, carry it with a lab book under it. Set it up in here. Set this on top of it. Leave the lid cracked. And all we're trying to do, if I can ever get it... Now, this is where the cameraman needs to come over here a little bit and take a look at how I've got it set. I've got the lid cracked. Why do you think I've got the lid cracked on the crucible right now? Can you take a guess? Well, I just got it wet. Guess what I want to happen? I want to dry it. So I'm going to leave the lid open. And now, so what I'm going to do is let this thing set here and heat for... Step number one, clean the crucible. Step number two, heat and dry the crucible. Probably about four minutes will probably be good. So try and keep a rough count on that. Now, so let's heat and let's pretend it's been four minutes already and this thing's good and dry. So step number one, clean. Step number two, heat for about four minutes. All right, so now, after I've done this, what I want to do, now I actually am going to need to get a different crucible. What I need to happen though is I need this to cool. Do not try and weigh this. Matter of fact, don't set it down on top of a lab book right now. Why? It will burn a hole in your lab book. So you might set it down. If you leave it here, it takes it longer to cool down. Don't blow on it either because you might get spit on it, and that's going to change the weight. So we'll just set it here, and now we can sit here and say, so what did you watch on TV last night? That a, no, I didn't. Anyway, so I have a drawer unlock and give me another clean crucible right now. It'll be like one of the cooking shows. Because it's going would somebody kindly give me a crucible, please, for the sake of this video? Yes, that's right. We're always prepared around here. Any second now. Up. So here we go. So I'm going to pretend, it's kind of like a cooking show on TV. Let's pretend that this crucible is clean. <laughs> Anyway, look, the cousin, we've got a clean, the broken one. Anyway, step number one, what are we going to do? Clean. Step number two, heat it and dry it. By the way, after you mess with these crucibles, they will get kind of fragile or whatever. That one already had crack in, that's why I just went ahead and broke it anyway, because this group needed a new one. So, when I get ready to weigh it, am I going to touch it anymore? Do not weigh a hot crucible. It needs to be cool enough to touch, but not touch. Now, come over here and take a look at this balance. Make sure you know how to use this. This one's got a little screen on top of it. What I want to do is zero the balance. Make sure it's all zeros. I'm going to open the top. 
then I'm going to sit here and I'm not going to weigh the lid. The lid is just here to try and keep this thing dry. So I'm not going to weigh the lid. I'm just going to set the crucible on here. I'm going to close the lid and in my case mine weighs, what is that? 27.478 grams. So I'm going to get my weight. You should see a place for it. So step number one, clean. Step number two, heat and dry. Step number three, weigh the crucible. Alright? You good so far? I'm never going to weigh the lid. The lid is just there to help me keep stuff from catching on fire. Alright. Step number four, add magnesium. So I'm going to take this piece of magnesium and I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to roll this piece of magnesium up. In my case, it looks like I'm going to break it up. And if I break it, I'll just put the pieces down in there. If it breaks, that's no big deal. But if it rolls up, whatever you do, don't smash don't smash it together. Kind of keep it a little bit. Oops, I'm dropping pieces in the floor. Let's get those up out of the floor. Hopefully that's just a piece of magnesium. And so I'm going to crunch that up. Don't squish it up too tight. If you take the piece of magnesium and really pack it in too tight, we want oxygen to react with it. And if you pack it too tight, guess what? The oxygen can't react to it. So remind me of my steps again. Step number one, clean. Step number two, heat and dry. Step number three, Way. Step number four, add magnesium. Step number, what are we on? Five. Five. Weigh it again, which means make sure the balance is zero. Mine's not, so hit zero. Open the lid, set it in there, and then weigh it again. And now mine weighs 27.647. It went up just a little bit in weight because I added the magnesium, right? Now, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to set back on the Bunsen burner. Now, everything from here on is going to be very picky. Alright, so the last step was what? Weigh it again? Next step. Heat with a low heat for about two or three minutes. Heat with a low heat for about two or three minutes. You got that. Heat with a low heat two to three minutes. We good. Heat with a low heat, two to three minutes. Make sure we've got that down. I'm going to light my burner. In other words, I don't want to heat down here in this hot spot. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and raise this thing up a little bit, away from the flame. And I'm going to heat, hey, I want to say this. Heat, low heat, for about two minutes with the lid shut. I want the lid shut on here. You got it? This lid's going to be key. So I'm going to heat, and I've probably got mine up a little bit too high, so I'm going to slide it out for one second. There. I don't want to like get it scalding hot, but I'm going to sit here for about two minutes and heat it like this. And this is what stinks. I was going to try and do the lab on video, but I can't because of time. It turned into like a 30 minute long video. But the reason why we've got to heat it kind of low and slow to begin with, if you try and heat that thing up really fast, guess what's going to happen to that porcelain? It's going to bust. By the way, which is why safety goggles, good idea. Because sometimes these things look and go. They just shatter, crack into pieces right in front of you. The last thing you want is a piece of 5,000 degree porcelain stuck in your eyeball. So let's keep our glasses on, especially for the sake of the YouTube audience out there. So how long has it been? Two or three minutes. So let's say it's been the two minutes. So I want you to watch something. I'm going to move the heat out from underneath it. This is why it's good y'all have partners. And I'm going to crack the lid. So I'm going to crack this lid slowly. If it's too hot and you open the lid, remember magnesium is flammable. Guess what's going to happen when that oxygen hits it? It's going to catch on fire. Alright, well I'm going to crack the lid. It's not going to catch on fire. So now, crack the lid. And now I'm going to go ahead. It's hot. Look at what I'm doing with the burner. Some people may not say to do this, but I'm going to hold the burner up and I'm going to get this sucker hot. I'm talking cherry red up on the bottom. But while I'm doing this, I want you all to watch something. I'm going to be watching this. How is my lid? Cracked. So I'm going to be heating this with the lid cracked. By the way, you will turn your tongs hot if you hold the lid the whole time. But I'm going to have my tongs ready. And I'm going to heat this sucker and get it red. And get it red and get it red. Now this is where the hard part of the lab comes. I want to oxidize this without setting it on fire. You've got to look through this crack, and here's the thing, the magnesium's got to turn red. 
That's how you know it's oxidizing. But if that magnesium all of a sudden starts to glow, like somebody just puffed a cigarette, guess what? It's about to catch on fire. So guess what you need to do the second you can tell it's about to catch on fire? If it looks like it's about to catch on fire, shut the lid and move the heat. Before you put the heat back, guess what you need to do? Crack the lid. If you see smoke, guess what you better do? Shut that lid. If you have smoke, that means there's what? Fire. And that means your grade is going up with that smoke. So what I want to do is crack the lid, no smoke, and then bam. I'm going right back to heating again. And I'm going to heat, and y'all, this is what might take y'all five minutes. It might take you 20 minutes. It depends on how long it takes you to do this. But you're going to sit here and do this on and off till all you're left with is a pile of white ash in there. That's all you should have left is a pile of white ash. So keep doing this. If it looks like it catches on fire, shut the lid and move the heat. Actually, if, you know, if I really got kind of good, I'm kind of gutsy. I might just sit here and really go crack this lid. Nah, I can't do it for the sake of the video. It takes a while to do this lab. So we're going to say I've been sitting here for 5 to 10 minutes. Every time it looks like it's going to catch on fire, I shut the lid. Biggest thing y'all always want to know is, you want to know is, how do we know when we're done? It should look like a pile of ash inside there. It should look like white, gray, ashy stuff left inside there. It won't look like magnesium anymore. You want to know if it's done completely? Just take the lid off. If it catches on fire and you see a poof, a bright white light, guess what? You weren't done with the lab. Unfortunately, that also means you now have to start the lab over again. Well, let's say you are done with the lab. Let's say you've already sat here and got gutsy. And what usually you end up doing is this, I think I'm done, I think I'm done, I think I'm done. And you're like, ah, okay, I'm feeling good about it, I'm done. So what are you going to do when you've done and you've turned it into a bunch of ash? So I've got done. Do I need the lid on anymore? If it's ash, can it catch on fire now? No. So I'm going to set the lid down. Alright. So now, what I'm going to do is this. Now, you good so far? So, when you first go to heat it up, put the magnesium on here. You're going to heat it for two minutes with the lid what? Heat it for two minutes with the lid closed. Crack that lid. Heat it wide open hot. How long? Till it's what? Yeah. Turned into ash at this point. If you start to see it, and it'll sparkle before it catches on fire, it'll start going. <laughs> if you see that start to happen, Close what you need to do? Close the lid, move the heat. Don't put it back till you can crack that lid. If you crack that lid and see smoke, do what? Close the lid. Get back out of there. Eventually, though, you should be able to take the lid completely off and heat it wide open. Y'all, this crucible will turn, it will literally turn solid red on the outside, which means it is dang hot. Now, I need you to let it cool. I don't know what step we're on, but whatever step we're at, put let it cool. Let it cool. So whatever step we're at, let it cool. All right. Now, what I want you to do next, this thing picks up some nitrogen from the air. It'll turn it a little yellow looking. And mine's still not looking that way. But what I want you to do is add a few drops of water. By the way, I'm going to show you a real nifty little trick for getting water in the pipette. You know you got distilled water in here? Check this out. I'm going to squeeze my little pipette. I'm going to let go of my pipette and bam. I've got a pipette full of water right here. Why do we need to let it cool? What would happen if I put this water in a super hot crucible. It would crack in the umpteen pieces obviously. So anyway, how much water do I want you to add? I just want you to add enough water to moisten it. Might be five drops, might be ten. But I'm going to probably guess somewhere in that five drop ballpark. Just drop enough water into it, drip drop, till you get it moistened. Now, do we need to worry about the lid anymore? Because it can't catch on fire now, can it? It's just turned into magnesium oxide. Turn that. After you add the water, take that heat, heat it. Go ahead and heat it for about two more minutes or so. Go ahead and heat it again. Does the lid matter anymore? No, no. Lid doesn't matter. Heat it for about two, three more minutes. What we want to do? Drive all the water off of it. By the way, I encourage you to take a little waft. It's going to smell just like pee when you do it. 
because that nitrogen is going to have a real strong ammonia smell when it drives out of there. So it's going to have a little bit of a nasty smell if you get a little waft of it. I encourage you to take a sniff there. Anyway, waft that smell, heat it for a couple of minutes till it's bone dry. All right. Guess what we're going to do again? Heat it up hot, and now guess what we're going to do? Let it cool. After it cools off, guess what I'm going to do? Come back over. How do we use this balance? Zero it. Set it on there. Close the balance. Get the measurement off there. Mine's not going. It should go up every single time. Why should it go up every single time? Because the first time it's going to be an empty crucible. The second time you weigh it, you're going to have a crucible plus the piece of magnesium in it. And then this very last time, it's going to be a crucible plus the magnesium plus what did the magnesium react with? Oxygen in the air. Very good. So you should be weighing the crucible, the magnesium, and the oxygen on this last time. Y'all, this thing gives three decimal places. Guess what, guess what you better write down? Uh, if I had the money to buy a four decimal place balance that costs like a thousand bucks, I'd buy one. We're weighing oxygen. It's kind of a lot. All right. When you're done with this lab, you can just throw this thing in the waste thing under the hood back there. Just dump that stuff out. Clean your crucible up because you're going to need it again like lab after next. So you can go ahead and wash it because you're going to need it again. But that's basically the thing. Step number one. We're going to clean it, then we're going to dry it, then what are we going to do? Add mag oh wait, weigh it. weigh it empty, yeah. then add magnesium, weigh it again. When you start heating it, what's going to happen? Low heat, low heat. Low heat lid closed. Again, the only reason we're doing that is because you can't start heating it hot instantly or you'll crack it. Crack the lid, what do you do if you see smoke? Close that lid, let it cool off some. Crack the lid, start heating it. Watching that crack in that lid. You've got to have your eye looking back down in there. So that's why those goggles had better be on. Start heating it. Before it catches on fire, you will see it will start to sparkle a little bit. As soon as you see that start to catch on fire, what do you need to do? Close the lid and move the heat. Check it, then go back and heat it. Do that until what happens? It'll turn into a gray, whitish ash. After it's turned into ash and it won't catch on fire, do we need the lid anymore? No. No. Next. Before you add that water, though, what you better make sure is true about that crucible. It's cool. It's cool or you will shatter it. Add you a few drops of water, moisten it. After you moisten it, do what? Heat it up again. Heat that sucker up hot. Just long enough so you dry it. If you heat it for like three minutes under heat, it's going to be dry. Heat it, dry it. What you need to do after you've heated it dry? Let it cool off again, and then weigh it one last time. That's all you've got to do in the lab. All right, any questions? Good. Well, thank you for joining us today. Trust me, it's awkward on this end too, but hey, thanks for watching.